Hello, everyone. Well, we haven't fantasized for a while about the various scenarios that could bring about the destruction of the Earth, the end of humanity, and the end of the universe. Let's destroy the universe another time in another video, but this time we would like to imagine the destruction of the Earth. How about, for example, destroying it with a black hole? If you like this kind of theme, this video is perfect for you. Welcome to our channel. We would like to share with you what would happen if a black hole suddenly appeared on the Earth. Are you ready? Let's get started. Where do we procure small black holes? While theoretically there are many different types of black holes, experts classify the black holes commonly found in the universe today in two main types. Those are stellar mass black holes and supermassive black holes. Stellar mass black holes are created during the collapse of a massive star. Or, to be more precise, this type is what remains after a massive star goes supernova. However, not all stellar cinders are of this type. For these cinders to actually contract to a singularity and produce a black hole, the mass of the cinders must be at least 2.3 times that of the Sun. This is called the tolman oppenheimer volkov limit. Supermassive black holes, on the other hand, are located in the center of galaxies and have a mass more than 100,000 times that of the Sun. There are various views among experts on how supermassive black holes are formed, but the most popular theory is that they are formed when, for example, dark matter evokes a huge cloud of interstellar gas in the still young universe, which then collapses. In short, a black hole will essentially never spontaneously appear on Earth. This is because even the Sun does not have enough mass to contract until it becomes a stellar mass black hole. Needless to say, the Earth is very small compared to the Sun. To create a supermassive black hole, all the stars near the Earth would have to merge with the Sun and collapse in a friendly manner. The odds of such a thing happening are probably lower than the pink elephant that is now materializing behind you all. Fortunately or unfortunately, we cannot artificially create a black hole. But theoretically, any celestial body can be contracted until it becomes a black hole. As we mentioned earlier, it is indeed impossible under natural circumstances for a celestial body whose mass is below the tolman oppenheimer volkov limit to contract to that degree. But it is quite possible in the laboratory. Incidentally, there is a theory that a primordial black hole, a small black hole with a mass of only an asteroid, was formed at a time when conditions in the universe were different from today. In other words, they were created at a time when the universe had just been born and stars had not yet existed. There is a theory that this primordial black hole is the very essence of dark matter. We will discuss this at another time. About Mass First, let us calculate the mass of a black hole with a rather small diameter, say, one millimeter in diameter. Before we do that, let me explain one academic term to you all. It is the term of gravitational radius or Schwarzschild radius. Every black hole has an event horizon. The event horizon is the boundary of space. Once a celestial body crosses it and approaches the black hole, it cannot come back. It has no choice but to fall toward the singularity at the center of the black hole, where all the mass of the gravitationally collapsed black hole is concentrated. Have you ever seen a virtual model of a black hole? 
In this model, an accretion disk rotates around a sphere that does not allow light to pass through. The surface of this black sphere is the event horizon. That is, when all the masses of the object contract at the singularity, the event horizon is generated on the surface of the sphere. The radius of that sphere is the Schwarzschild radius for the object. This very value is the radius of the black hole. For example, the Schwarzschild radius of the Sun is 3 kilometers. If the Sun were suddenly transformed into a black hole for some reason, a black ball with a radius of 3 kilometers would appear to be floating in the air. The Schwarzschild radius is approximately 0.89 centimeters when calculated with the mass of the Earth. A simple calculation also shows that a black hole with a radius of 1 millimeter has a mass of about 11% of that of the Earth. Let the end of the world begin. Now, suppose a certain mad scientist, by some mysterious means, procures from somewhere a mass of matter that is more than nine times the mass of the moon and then shrink it into a black hole with a radius of one millimeter. Now, what would happen to us? Well, first of all, the Earth's mass would increase by 11%, which causes a change in gravity. Everything around you would feel heavier. The orbit of the Moon and those of Earth's satellites would change and some of them may fall to the ground. But the worst is after that. A black hole that would appear on Earth would be attracted to the Earth. In fact, it would begin to fall through the Earth, but it would not just fall. At this time, the black hole would roll along the surface of the Earth. When a black hole suddenly appears, matter in very close proximity would be attracted to it. Because the black hole does not stay in place, the attracted matter also does not meekly orbit around the black hole. Matter comes very close to the black hole and falls beyond the event horizon. Before that happens, the matter is broken up into discrete atoms by tidal forces. Every time a black hole would make a single rotation, the matter of the Earth in contact with it would be attracted to it. In other words, with each rotation, a portion of the crust and mantle would be stripped away. Some of the Earth's matter would collide with the black hole thereby increasing the black hole's mass. The rest of the matter would be ejected into space. The greater the mass of the black hole would become, the greater the event horizon. Before the black hole reached the center of the Earth, the Earth would disappear and transform into burning debris. The mass of the black hole would increase significantly. The Earth that was once our home would become a cloud of dust and begin to orbit around the black hole, gradually forming a bright, hot accretion disk. Eventually, the black hole would take over the orbit that the Earth once had around the Sun. The total mass of the black hole and the accretion disk would be about the same as that of the Earth. The Moon would also be orbiting the black hole. There is no threat to the Moon except for a slight change to its orbit. This is because the event horizon does not reach the Moon. Furthermore, the Sun would not be adversely affected. Some of the Earth's remnants would have been pushed out into space by the black hole. Without being swallowed up or becoming part of the accretion disk, they would form a new asteroid belt of sorts. Some of them would fall to the Moon or Mars leaving new craters. Subsequent Stories of the Black Hole and the Solar System A black hole of approximately the same mass as the Earth would form where the Earth once was, but it would have absolutely no effect on the solar system in the near future. But, in a few billion years, some interesting things would begin to happen. The Sun would eventually swell up and transform into a giant red star. This is the final stage for the Sun. According to various estimates, this process would begin in about 6 to 8 billion years. As the Sun expands, first Mercury and then Venus would be swallowed up. Then, the most interesting thing would begin. 
Matter should be flying out of the surface of the round and fat sun toward outer space. But the solar system would have a black hole. The matters would be attracted to the black hole and fall down. For the first time in billions of years, the black hole would start growing again, swallowing matter. A giant star and the matter that flows out of that star would constantly be falling into the black hole. The existence of such pairs of celestial objects is known to astronomers. The black hole would be growing and gradually approaching the sun. Maybe the black hole would suck up the sun, leaving only the nucleus, and the remaining nucleus would become a white dwarf star orbiting the black hole. Or perhaps it would collide with the sun and swallow it, just as it swallowed the Earth. And the black hole that gained the mass of the sun and the group of planets that would have orbited it would continue to exist for billions of years until it were vaporized by Hawking radiation. But that's another story. So, that's all for the scenario of the end of the world, which may happen with low probability. Thank you all for watching. We sincerely hope you like this video. If you like it, please give it a like. Please share it on your social networking sites. And, of course, please write your thoughts in the comment section. We'll be looking for a new theme for our next video. Let us say goodbye to you all for a while. But we will see you again soon. Goodbye.